idol. Um, not only is one of the toughest things uh, to figure out what you're gonna sing, but it's to figure out what you're gonna wear and if you have enough clothes to wear because how do you pack for four months? This is what four months of clothes look like. And this isn't even all of it because I didn't empty out my drawers. <laughs> I'm a Florida girl and we wear flip-flops all the time. <laughs> One of the press days, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be comfortable. They haven't looked at my feet yet. And I get there and I had almost every single interview panned down to my feet. And I about died because I'm like wearing these old raggedy white flip flops with this cute outfit. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. Well, back in 1876, a no more name. See, people probably think I've been a little tough tonight or whatever. But I gotta tell you something. That song fit you. It was the perfect choice for you. Oh. I could see you making a record like that. It could be dope. Love Reba McIntyre. Love that version. And from last week, the smoky voice that we loved when we first saw you kind of returned, right, Paula? Absolutely. That was hot. Daughter. That was hot. Daughter. So that was hot right there. What I love seeing is you are coming out of your show. Each week, a little bit more and more, you have, uh, you're very unique in this competition. No one has a voice like yours. I love it. I love the tone. I could hear you on the radio. I think you're doing a great job. Awesome. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Melissa, I don't know what the problem is with you. Because I, no, I oh, love right, your voice. Right. I love your voice. I thought it was the wrong song. Oh, right. No, I really do. Because for some reason, I do not believe you are making a connection yet with the audience. And I, I, I and that's why. She connected no, with no. us. Well. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Oh, what? A good, yeah, what? Oh. A good audience. Oh. You know, I, I think you have to do something. At this. Shut up, Paula. You're really <laughs> annoying me now. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Whoever you are, it's like being with some precocious child. Whoa! Trying to talk to this con <laughs> And enough. the kids aren't listening. Enough. <laughs> enough. I think you've just... I mean, I know we keep talking about choice of song. You've got to do something which has the wow factor. And no one oh. is going to remember that song. No. That's the problem. You know what? We, we are liked so it. Wrong. We, we liked wrong. it. Wrong. I'm liked not it. wrong. We liked it. Not oh, wrong. you're never wrong. Well, That's the right. reason I, I did this song this time was because Simon said my personality was being overshadowed. So therefore, I thought maybe I should do a fun song, show America who I finally Why am. Why not? And, and we to Simon. You were listening to Simon. See? Listen again. Oh, so many different things going on here. Uh, what, what, what's, what's? Yeah, no, go, Paula, please, go I ahead. I want to change seats. You want to change seats? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> What's wrong with the two of you? What, what really is the problem here? Um, he has to be right. I'm trying to help. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. Uh, Remind me if I get lost, never to ask him for directions. 
Thank you for helping. If you want to vote for Melissa, it's 1-866-IDLE-04. It's 1-866-436-5704. Or singular wireless subscribers can text the word vote to 5704. Good luck, Melissa. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. <laughs> All right, some bills to pay now. When we come back, Heather Cox performs some